Welcome to Fanatomy course of Forex Trading Basics. Our topic today is Forex History and Market Participants. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for more courses and free practice tests. Number 1. Given the global nature of the Forex exchange market, it is important to first examine and learn some of the important historical events relating to currencies and currency exchange before entering any trades. The creation of the gold standard monetary system in 1875 marks one of the most important events in the history of the Forex market. Before the gold standard was implemented, countries would commonly use gold and silver as means of international payment. The main issue with using gold and silver for payment is that their value is affected by external supply and demand. For example, the discovery of a new gold mine would drive gold prices down. Answer the question. Which was used as international payment before 1875? A. Notes. B. Salt. C. Gold. D. Diamond. The correct answer is C. Gold. Number 2. Before the end of World War II, the Allied nations believed that there would be a need to set up a monetary system in order to fill the void that was left behind when the gold standard system was abandoned. In July 1944, more than 700 representatives from the Allies convened at Bretton Woods, New Hampshire, to deliberate over what would be called the Bretton Woods System of International Monetary Management. To simplify, Bretton Woods led to the formation of the following. 1. A method of fixed exchange rates. 2. The US dollar replacing the gold standard to become a primary reserve currency. 3. The creation of three international agencies to oversee economic activity. The International Monetary Fund, International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, and the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade. Answer the question. What was formed by the Bretton Woods system? A a fixed exchange rate. B. Gold standard. C. International Finance Corporation. D. The International Monetary Fund. The correct answer is D. The International Monetary Fund. Number 3. Unlike the equity market where investors often only trade with institutional investors, such as mutual funds or other individual investors, there are additional participants that trade on the forex market for entirely different reasons than those on the equity market. Some of the most influential participants involved with currency exchange are the central banks and federal governments. In most countries, the central bank is an extension of the government and conducts its policy in tandem with the government. However, some governments feel that a more independent central bank would be more effective in balancing the goals of curbing inflation and keeping interest rates low, which tends to increase economic growth. Regardless of the degree of independence that a central bank possesses, government representatives typically have regular consultations with central bank representatives to discuss monetary policy. Thus, central banks and governments are usually on the same page when it comes to monetary policy. Answer the question. What is true about governments and central banks? A. Independent central banks help to increase economic growth. B. They are the most influential participants on the forex market. C. The central bank is independent of the government. The correct answer is A. Independent central bank helps to increase economic growth. Number 4. Another class of market participants involved with foreign exchange-related transactions is speculators. Rather than hedging against movement in exchange rates or exchanging currency to fund international transactions, speculators attempt to make money by taking advantage of fluctuating exchange rate levels. The most famous of all currency speculators is probably George Soros. The billionaire hedge fund manager is most famous for speculating on the decline of the British pound, a move that earned 1.1 billion United States dollars in less than a month. On the other hand, Nick Leeson, a derivatives trader with England's Barings Bank, took speculative positions on futures contracts in yen that resulted in losses amounting to more than 1.4 billion United States dollars, which led to the collapse of the company. Answer the question. Who makes money by taking advantage of fluctuating exchange rate levels? A. Banks. B. Multinationals. C. Individual investors. D. Speculators. The correct answer is D. Speculators. 
To learn the full course, please download our free app Anatomy on the App Store. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.